मॉड्यूल वन पब्लिक फाइनेंस क्वेश्चन वन डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पब्लिक फाइनेंस डेफिनेशन पब्लिक फाइनेंस इज कंसर्न विद द इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ पब्लिक अथॉरिटीज एंड विद द एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ वन विद द अदर आई रिपीट पब्लिक फाइनेंस इज कंसर्न विद द इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ पब्लिक अथॉरिटीज एंड विद द एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ वन विद द अदर यूज डाल्टन बुक ऑन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पब्लिक फाइनेंस meaning public finance studies how government raise money to pay for desired facilities and services provided to all members of public at all levels that is national state and local level i repeat public finance studies how government raise money to pay for desired facilities and services provided to the member of public at all levels that is national state and local level essential components of a public financial management system are first collection of sufficient resources from economy in appropriate manner second allocation and use of these resources efficiently and effectively i repeat collection of sufficient resources from the economy in appropriate manner second allocation and use of these resources efficiently and effectively subject matters of public finance a public expenditure on development and non development activities b public revenue tax revenue and non tax revenue c public debt from internal and external sources d financial administration such as allocation of resources budget management etc i repeat a public expenditure on development and non development activities b public revenue tax revenue and non tax revenue c public debt from internal and external sources d financial administration such as allocation of resources and budget management etc the classical and neo classical economics like adam smith john stuart mill j b say and david ricardo viewed public finance from a narrow perspective they advocated the laissez faire capitalism policy of the government where private parties play an important role in the economic matters of the nation with the least interventions of the government french word laissez faire means let people do as they want i repeat classical and neo classical economics like adam smith john stuart mill j b say and david ricardo viewed public finance from from a narrow perspective they advocated the laissez faire capitalism policy of the government where the private parties play an important role in the economic matters of the nation with the least intervention of the government french word laissez faire means let people do as they want during the great depression of usa 1929 to 1941 it was clear that the laissez faire capitalism policy leads to the failure of market mechanism in the beginning massive unemployment lack of housing and severe poverty compelled president franklin roosevelt to expand government activities to revive the economy in 1932 i repeat during the great depression of usa 1929 to 1941 it was clear that the laissez faire capitalism policy leads to the failure of market mechanism in the beginning massive unemployment lack of housing and severe poverty compelled president franklin roosevelt to expand government activities 
to revive the economy in 1932. Economics Jam Keynes, father of modern microeconomic, challenged the laissez fair policy. He strongly advocated the role of government in economic development, especially when the market fell to correct themselves. According to him, the fiscal that is financial operation of the government can remove distortion in the economy. Keynes' greatest work, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, was published in 1936, which entirely challenged the previous neoclassical economic paradigm. I repeat, economics J.M. Keynes, the father of modern microeconomics, challenged the laissez fair policy. He strongly advocated the role of government in economic development, especially when markets fell to correct themselves. According to him, the fiscal, that is, financial operation of government can remove distortion in the economy. Keynes' greatest work, The General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money was published in 1936, which entirely challenged the previous neoclassical economic paradigm. Concept of Public Finance Two main concepts of public finance include first, fiscal policy, second, budgetary policy. First, fiscal policy. It is concerned with government expenditure that is development and non-development and government income through taxation and other sources. The government may adopt a contra contractionary or expansionary fiscal policy depending on situ situation. Under contractionary fiscal policy, government reduces expenditures and increases taxes. It aims at controlling inflation under under expansionary fiscal policy, the government expenditures are increased and taxes are reduced in order to overcome the problem of recession. Other elements of fiscal policy include public debt management and investment and disinvestment policy. Second, budgetary policy. Budgetary policy is more specific as compared to fiscal policy. The public budget can be used to mobilize resources as, so as to utilize the same for economic and social development. It helps to control government expenditure and to mobilize resources efficiently so as to overcome the problem of budgetary deficit. Conclusion Public finance studies government expenditure and revenues. Classical economics advocated laissez faire capitalism policy, which failed in the period of Great Depression of USA. Fiscal policy and budgetary policy are the main concepts of public finance. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, contact on 900 40 40 or 9 222 44 0413